Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about solving linear equations in one variable. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what I have here are the first two examples that I have for today's video. Solve the following linear equations. Now in your school, you will be asked to solve these equations in step-by-step -step process or in using properties of equality. So let's start with Example number 1, x plus 5 is equal to negative 2. Our target here is to find the solution of x that will satisfy this entire equation. We need, to, we need to find a value of x. Now when we substitute it with x plus 5, it will become negative 2. Now how are we going to do that? First, we need to subtract each equation or each part of the equation by 5. So the basic thing or the reason why we need to subtract it by 5 is that it will become 0. This positive 5 will be eliminated if we will subtract it by 5. In other words, parang ano, hanapin mo lang yung additive inverse. So this is subtraction property of equality. So 5 minus 5 is 0 or simply canceling it out. And what will remain here on the left side of the equation is simply x. And then, negative 2 minus 5 is simply negative 7. As you can see, this is our answer in item number 1. Next, let's move on with item number 2. We have x minus 3 is equal to 7. So what we need to eliminate here is negative 3. As I have told you earlier, here, this is plus 5. We use its additive inverse to eliminate plus 5. Now, this is minus 3. The additive inverse of minus 3 is positive 3 or plus 3. So we will simply add both sides of the equation by 3. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0. Or simply eliminate this part. And you have your x is equal to 7 plus 3, which is equal to 10. This is now the value of x in the given equation. Okay? Now, let's proceed with example number 2, uh, number 3 and number 4. Here's our examples. Here, I included the fractional equations for you to use the other properties of equality. What we have here is 2 over 3 x is equal to negative 4. So it's quite confusing or it seems difficult because there's a fractional part in our equation. But don't worry, what we need to do here is to multiply the whole equation by its reciprocal. Here, we have here 2 over 3. The reciprocal of 2 over 3 is simply 3 over 2. Sir, what do you mean by the reciprocal? Yung reciprocal natin is pagpapalitin mo lang yung numerator or you will interchange the numerator and the denominator. And it will go like this. Multiply the whole equation by its reciprocal 3 over 2. The tendency here, when you multiply this, 3 over 2 times 2 thirds and x. I will show you 3 over 2 times 2 over 3 x is simply you will cancel this out and cancel this out and what will remain is x so sir paano nangyari yan parang ganti maging process niyan 3 times 2 is 6 2 times 3 is also 6 then you have your x 6 over 6 is 1 so what will remain is simply x so parang when you multiply this maga cancel out ka lang ng mga part ng fraction. And then, syempre, don't forget, you also need to multiply this by 3 over 2. So, what we have here is equal to negative 4 times 3 over 2. When you multiply this, guys, this is negative 4 times 3. That is negative 12 over 2. And simplifying negative 12 over 2, that is the value of x, which is negative 6. 
Medyo mapan ng konti dito, dito dahil I showed you paano siya na-cancel out at paano naging x na lang yung variable natin. Now let's move on with example number 3. For number 3, maybe 1, a y over negative 5. Sir, what is the reciprocal of that? Imagine that meron ka ditong 1 and your fraction here is negative 1 over negative 5. So what we need to do is to multiply this using its reciprocal. So that is negative 5 over 1. Also this one, negative 5 over 1. Shortcut lang natin. You can cancel this out, cancel this out, cancel this out, cancel this out. Negative times negative is positive. Ang matitara na lang is y. Then is equal to 2 times negative 5 is negative 10 over 1. Or simplify natin yan. Your y is equal to negative 10. And this is the answer to that. Now let's move on with our last example. We have here 2x plus 6 is equal to 4 times x plus 2 minus x. Now it seems difficult dahil complex na to para sa solving linear equations in one variable. But first what you need to do is to deal with the parentheses. Copy first this one. You have your 2x plus 6 is equal to this one. Using distributive property, 4 times x is 4x. Then, 4 times 2, that is plus 8 minus x. Before simplifying it with the left side of the equation, combine muna ito. 4x minus x, that is equal to 3x plus 8. And here, we have 2x plus 6. So what's next here is we need to isolate the variables with the constants. We will put it here and this one on the left side. So ito muna tayo. Subtract both sides by 2x. So it will become cancel, cancel, or 0. We have 6 is equal to 3x minus 2x is equal to x. Then this one is plus 8. So we will eliminate positive 8. Remember, additive inverse. That is minus 8 and minus Eight. This is 0, so you have your x is equal to 6 minus 8 is negative 2. As you can see, this is the value of x. Now, as part of our routine in creating videos, I will give you an example or an assignment that you need to solve. So let's try x plus 10 is equal to negative 25. So, put in the comment section what is the value of x. And guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!